What's up guys and welcome back to WBC Builds. I'm here again on the Alphacraft server and this is our little startup we actually um, we had last time. So I've got AD's little uh, covered wagon there that you built for me at the beginning of last episode and now I've got my selection of stuff behind me here all out in the open. Yes, it's not a safe at all, is it? So as I promised last time, today we're going to start work on this lodge house that will form the sort of first building of the estate. Now, what I mentioned before as well is I want the estate, the main big house, down over there on that hill, sort of where that tree is. Now, the gate lodge needs to be down in this area. Uh, between these two, there is this big hill, and I'm talking it's fairly large. Uh, I want to remove it. I want to send it all the way back to where that other hill is there at the back of the sort of landscape and that will form the main edge of the main garden the main driver comes down here now even looking at this in a sort of creative mindset where world edit is an option and it would be you know fairly easy to do that would still require quite a bit of just taking it down layer by layer sorting it all out and then smoothing it back off to make it look a bit nice so we're going to do that by hand today and by hand, I mean using those diamonds we got last time. So I'm going to make myself some diamond shovels. Uh, we'll probably need about two, or maybe even three. It is only one diamond per shovel, so that should be okay. We'll still have, I think we got nine last time, so we'll have six left to do what we want with. Obviously a diamond pickaxe for starters. Maybe two diamond pickaxes, I'm not sure yet. Could do with an axe. Anyway, apart from rambling about diamond pickaxes, I believe we're going to need to enchant those uh, spades. Uh, I kind of want it so we've got the unbreaking enchantment on there, but you never know when you're going to get it, well, unless you buy it from the villager. So I think today we need to make those little uh, tools up in a second and then sneak back over towards Deadwood and Aedy's base and go use his enchanting table. Now, I say that because obviously I haven't got one and I probably haven't got enough diamonds to make one. I definitely don't have enough uh, obsidian because we haven't been down there and grabbed any of that yet. So I think the best bet is to go over and use his setup just uh, just so we can actually see what that's going on. And I've just got a message there from the Picklesworth saying hello and welcome. Ah, hello there. How's it going? Lovely stuff. Yes, because obviously I'm still quite new to the server, so it's nice just getting on and chatting to people whenever they come on. Now, I love a little bit of housekeeping. You may notice a few textures are a bit different. Or not different, maybe subtle sort of change. The first main one you can see is actually all of the grass looks a little bit duller. So what I'm using is the WBC Builds uh, texture pack. So I'm using uh, version 1.3, uh, which you can download from my own personal Discord. Now what this does is it gives a subtle sort of change to a few blocks, mainly all of the uh, stones if I can find them. You can see here that diorite looks a little bit different and so does granite along with andesite. Now, it's nothing major, and all the blocks look exactly the same as they would normally do. It just gives a little bit of a dull down look to some of them, so they don't look so vibrant, and it really does help when building in a Victorian and a Georgian style. So that is just in case you guys are wondering what's going on with my textures. So anyway, let me make these little spades up, and then we're going to go wander over in that direction, get into a boat, and go off and see Aedy's base, and start using his enchantment table so we can get that hill down. Right, I'll meet you back over at Aedy's base. Right, so I've made it over to Aedy's base, which is only just a short little uh, boat ride from Deadwood. You can see that right behind me there. Yeah, there we go. Um, so I'm going to go break on in. I have got permission to go in here. Don't you worry. He said I can come in and use his enchanting table. So have a quick little look around. I think it might be behind this door. Nope, that's a sorting room. Uh, that looks like some sort of crafting area. Anything else down here? Right, there it is. Perfect. So we're going to get these spades probably done up. Ooh, ooh. Okay, that's pretty cool. I didn't realize that. So let's see what we can get with these spades then. So we can get probably efficiency two on that. How many levels have I got first of all? 25. Okay, so let's put that on there and use some of this. So we can get efficiency two. Lovely stuff. I'll probably do the same for that one. What's that then? That's efficiency two again. And... What we got on this one then we can also get lapis uh fortune one oh lovely stuff right well that's gonna aid me in all of this so i've now got some tools that should be you know a little bit better at clearing out that mine um yeah i'm not um, it's gonna be a long old uh, sort of session on that so i think we're gonna probably cut to a time lapse of me taking down that hill and then once that's out of the way we can start doing a little bit more housekeeping 
and then actually get on to building the first house. So meet you back over there once I've cleared out that hill. Well, isn't that a beautiful sight? Look at that. So I've taken down that whole hill there, left it sort of at the highest point you can see behind me. But I've also gone through and added tons and tons of landscaping throughout all of this. So all of that dirt pretty much we took out of this hill during that time lapse was put up into this chest. Now it got to around about here and with all of the leftovers, so all of the, the cut we've got, I went back through and as you can see, flattened out this whole area between these two hills and these trees and this is going to push us all the way back towards this direction now you guys know probably already what we're going to put up here and that is correct that is the main house now i'm questioning like how far back i want to put it from the uh, the lodge so the lodge is going to sit over there just where we cleared the area out where you can see the sort of darker colored um dark colored grass there where the hill used to be so that's where the lodge will be and i think a nice long drive with the trees either side and then we get down to the main house so I'm tempted to put the main house on the hill, but bring the hill down a few levels and then level all of this out again and take down these hills and that hill and even that mountain. Why not just go the whole shebang? Um, yeah, so that's pretty crazy, but I think we're going to probably do that, to be honest. I, I, when I get into uh, sort of the mindset of getting some terraforming done, I will do it and I will take a lot of time behind it and you'll see like a five, ten minute Sorry, five, ten second time lapse of it, but that's usually me working a few hours. I think that took me about an hour and a half, maybe, maybe a bit less, to uh, clear out all of that and sort it all out. The tree taken down took the longest. Now, uh, what I need to do before we start building is go over and find some sand. So I've come all the way back here just to have a look to... Uh, oh, hello. I seem to have uh, fallen into a hole along with a wolf. Um, yeah, I need to go find some sand so we can get some sandstone on the go for the details on this little lodge. Um, but there are murmurs, actually, of a meeting of the rest of the Alphas over in the Deadwood Saloon. So this is all in aid of New Year's Eve, which is coming up. I think it's tomorrow? No, two days' time from when I'm filming this. Um, so it'd be quite nice to go meet the rest of the guys, because I've only met AD so far. So it'd be really nice to go over there and share a drink in the Deadwood Saloon. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to jump on over into there, and we're going to come back once we've had a little go at drinking myself under the table there. So let's um, let's go see what they're up to over there. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how all the C418 songs are bangers? Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, they're amazing. <laughs> yeah, they Mosh pit, guys. <laughs> <laughs> why does why does everything involve you spacking something, JJ? That's yeah. why, why I started it. Anything you started it. Well, at, present, at present, there's only, like, watch out because... <laughs> Well, set your spawn because otherwise you're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> otherwise you're gonna have a long way to travel. There's a bigger. I don't think you meant to dance oh, on yeah. the piano. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm playing the music. <laughs> <laughs> That's the noise I'm making. Yeah, I'll play the low keys. Yeah, you play the high keys. Like <laughs> <laughs> That's like some weird alien creature. <laughs> Wait, hello. <gasps> oh, <laughs> it's actually a WBC builds. I'm gonna play it's the piano. It's not a piano. <laughs> it's a player <laughs> piano. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Technically, you could. We could have fitted the. Um, I am gonna put some note blocks down there at some point. Uh, <laughs> but you, we could fit the thingy in. <laughs> it's probably in the place, come on. It's no longer a piano, it's now just an open box. <laughs> oh, I'm on the floor. And it's only the beginning of the night. I, don't think we get out of here. I can't get out of here because it's closing and opening, so I can't get out. Okay. Do you know the way, Bunny? Uh, no! How do okay, right, I'm coming for you. Let's go. Okay. If we take the walls out as well, the whole place is going to fall down. I'm seeing through levitating. <laughs> oh, I'm out. Am, I, am I still levitating? <laughs> Bunny, where are you? Are you in the... I don't know you are now. Uh, east. I'm, I'm in the east tunnel. I'm, oh, I think I'm in the same place. This year, we're going for 
the more natural fireworks sort of thing. So, we have DIY fireworks. Just grab a bunch, set them off, and run around, and you have to look up really fast or you'll miss them. So, <laughs> you know. And also, you get the added excitement of avoiding the mobs. Exactly. Yay. <laughs> Anybody who has uh, armor, can I suggest you put it back on? Hey, oh, lovely you stuff. Really good idea. Happy, New Year, Happy, New, Year. Year. Happy, Happy New, Year. New Year! So I really enjoyed seeing everyone for New Year's. That was great. I wasn't able to stay for the whole time, but I did actually have a nice chance to chat with some people and just see what was going on. It was quite wild. It was not what I was used to, but I really liked seeing the fireworks and that. Now, you may be wondering where I am, and this is the Never, I think. It's like the tunnel inside the Never. I've had to come through AD's portal, which is just here, uh, in order to be able to find myself back to spawn. So I want to go grab some of this free iron I keep hearing about. So there's a place called the Iron Alpha, I think. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. I imagine it's an iron farm. And there I can go and, and take as much iron as I please. So it's time for me to go over there and try and find it. It's like Everyone's already got one set up on here, obviously, because they've been on for a lot longer than I have, but I haven't even got myself a never portal sorted yet. I'm really, really lagging behind on this. Now, I'm recording this a lot later than I recorded the last clip. This is probably nearly two weeks after I recorded that last clip. Now, I don't know what happened. I just sort of ended up getting quite busy in between New Year's and getting back to work and that. So I ended up sort of having um, a little break from this server, but I'm back. So I can't wait to see what's going on. Oh, yeah, this is the map. So under here is everything that's going on in the world. Now, that is... That's not Spawn, is it? No, that's JJ and Wildstown. Okay. So we met those for New Year's as well. Uh, I think Aedes is over here. Deadwood? No, that's not Deadwood. Oh, there's, there's some chickens down there. Is that Mesa there? Yeah, that's Aedicraft. So that's where Aedes' base is, which means mine is... I think slightly further up from that in this region here so one day we'll get ourselves on the map and we'll see what our little town looks like right this is probably spawn through here oh yeah this is standard and Everpool. oh it's been a it's been a long time since i played this <laughs> so oh right we're in we're in spawn yep yeah, we're in spawn there we go right um okay right so i don't even know where anything is here this is my first time of wandering around spawn, so um, is that down here, something here? One day I'm going to have to build myself a shop here as well. I, like I said last time, I think we could probably have uh, maybe a concrete farm or something going on. Bring your own enchanted apples. Oh, hello. How are you doing? There's some, there's some food. I'm not going to steal anything because I haven't got any diamonds to spend it on anything in the shop, so I'm not going to do any of that right now. Now, I don't know where it is, and I was sort of... Um, asking about uh and yeah I'm, I'm still gonna have to quickly have a little run around and see this place is really cool let me show you guys what this looks like on the outside oh dear who's there's quite a lot of lipstick on that person there but yes so welcome this is the alpha craft spawn we haven't been here yet uh i've only been here once when i spawned in the first time before ad took me off over to his deadwood place and i'm really really liking this vibe look at it it's a lovely sort of Japanese place. And then we've got all these other random bits and bobs over here. I wonder if this is what it is. No, what's this? Uh, okay, that's for them. Now, this is the advent calendar, I think it is. Yep, Merry Christmas. Yep, so I missed out on all of that. Uh, I joined just after Christmas. And what's that over there? There is so much already to see that I haven't seen before. So let me try and find out the location of this Iron Alpha. And then we'll get back to actually picking up some iron, and then we can go back over and start farming up some sand and sandstone so we can get started with the lodge. So, yep, yeah, let me go try and find out where this iron alpha is. Right, so I think Steiner Rose has turned up. This is a lovely member of the Alpha Craft server, and she's going to show me the way to where the iron alpha is. And, oh, right, that makes more sense. Okay, I wasn't looking in the right direction. I was just sort of bumbling around by spawn. So I think it's under these cherry blossoms here and there seems to be a very giant iron farm over here let's have a look yeah it's alright I'm still following I haven't lost my way just yet yeah this looks like a, a bit more of an iron farm wow okay I've never never embarked on building anything like this in survival so all of this is very very different to me Ooh, some nice little modern skyscrapers and buildings over there 
Right, so it's down here. Okay. Well, isn't this very pleasant little dojo? Ooh. And here we go. Right, well, thank you for that. That is, um, that is excellent. And it's all... Is it... Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Now, I'm not going to be greedy, but I'm going to take probably... Probably... Is that enough? Take whatever you need. <laughs> well, if you insist, I may take a... Let's, should we go for... Should, there's a little bit. Yeah, I can see. <laughs> well, thank you for that. Uh, that will come in really handy. So, let's jump back over to our little base then, guys, and get started with making some more tools. Uh, I'm going to quickly have a little look around here, see if there's anything else I need. I'll meet you guys back over there so we can start getting all of this sand. Right, I'll see you then. So I've just got back to base uh, from running back all the way from spawn through Eddie's farm and, and Deadwood again. And I've just come across this, a lovely little uh, gift package that's been left for me by the Lumbering Pigs. This is Mr. Picklesworth. I met him over the New Year period when we were doing our little celebration over there in Deadwood. And he said he was going to leave me a little care package. So he's come over here into the centre of my lovely lit up area. I'm going to go sleep. There is someone else on still, but I do need to sleep. Uh, also on my travels... I managed to get myself another head for the collection. So we now have another pig's, well, we have a pig's head now, the creeper head, and my own face. Uh, and I think during, yeah, New Year's, a lot of other people lost their heads to AD, and they're now on display in the Deadwood uh, Cemetery. So we'll go have a look at those at some point, if we're feeling a little bit nostalgic and want to walk around there. But I'm going to go look in this little chest in a second. I'm too scared to go there now until we're, <laughs> until all of this is slept through. But let's go see what he's uh, what he's got me. Oh, wow. That is a lot of stuff. So he's got three of all the logs. Lovely. I was never going to find any of these, really. Jungle is always a good one. I've got quite a few builds in mind for jungle. And then we've got some of the uh, saplings as well, so we can grow all those trees if we need to. And we've got some shroom lights. They're always excellent stuff. So let me unload all of this and go try and put it in a chest somewhere. Because this is right in the centre of where I want to start building. So let me dump that off. And then we're going to go run off in that direction over there and see if we can't find ourselves a desert or some sort of area with lots of sand in that we can start cutting down all of them. Not cutting down trees, but I'm just looking at the wood, that's why. I mean cutting down all of them, that sand, to start getting ourselves some sandstone. Right, so I think I showed you guys this little uh, dark oak forest behind the base earlier on, and it seems it has quite a lot of uh, sand. So I'm going to start having my go at that. Just looking over there as well, there seems to be some sort of sandy islands we can always take down. But this is a great place to start. We can always make sandstone from sand anyway. And I already spy some in there with my lovely texture pack where it all looks a slightly different colour. So let's have a little go and start breaking down some of this. So I think it's time for a little bit of a, a, little bit of a time lapse. So ooh, let's get started with one of those. Right, so I'm back from my travels, and I have quite a haulage of stuff. So over in this chest here, oh, I moved it, it was here, is all of the sand, sandstone. I've also made some cut sandstone, and I'm currently smelting down some smooth sandstone, because that is always a great little detail to put in with your neoclassical builds, and it really, really does offset with birch quite nicely. Look, let me show you if I place these two blocks down. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I know that's... <laughs> that's a weird thing to be doing in survival just wasting blocks like that I know so I'm thinking as I have been for quite a while big lodge house here it's going to sit between these two hills and then behind it we will build a nice little formal garden no not a formal garden a nice little uh, garden for our animals and also growing some veg so a walled garden that's the word I'm trying to think of a lovely lovely little walled garden behind here but we'll probably get on to that next episode so the house is going to be in this episode so the house is going to start building in a second so I'm going to definitely do a time lapse build for that because there's a lot going on and I'm going to probably take a long time to build it now I think AD gave me some scaffolding when I started out here it might be in this one inside here oh I don't know. I thought I had some scaffolding. Anyway, if I don't, I'm a little bit up the... Uh, uh, 
Oh, he does. There we go. I have got 64 things of scaffolding, so that's always good because it's, um, yeah, I'm standing here trying to double jump constantly, thinking I'm in survival and I can start flying and building, but alas, I cannot. Now, the reason I went over and got all of that uh, iron as well is I'm going to build my chimneys out of anvils. Now, this is a little technique I always do, and people always question it, and they always go, that's quite nice, or they go, why? That's so expensive. Ooh, that is very expensive, isn't it? I didn't mean to open up all of that. Um, and anvils are just that cool of a thing. Now, is this the right way? How do I make anvils again? Oh, I was almost right. So that's one, two, three, four. So that is going to be my chimney pots. Now, you'll see what I mean by that later on. And yes, they are very expensive chimneys. Uh, I've also been spelting down some stones. So we've got all that on the go. I'm going to mix in some andesite with that. So that's going to be the base of the building. I want to make some stone bricks now as well. Uh, ooh, there's loads of stuff. I didn't realise I had so much stuff. That was when I cleared all that out. Uh, and then we got all of this birch as well to start placing in to strip. So that's the other thing I need to do. I need to build myself some more axes. Oh, man, this is, um yeah, it's interesting to really start to plan a build in survival. Now, there'll be no guesses in saying that I can't really do it very well. And I can't. I'm, I'm not a survival player. And this is going to be quite a challenge. So we'll see how long this time lapse goes on for. But guys... Join me after the time lapse of the house being built to explore the inside so we can actually get finally settled in. Hopefully I can shift all this stuff over once we're done, but I'm actually really, really excited now to get started with that. So let's go build a house. What a mega project that was, for me at least. This is the first time I've built anything, anything of this size or scale in survival for a very, very long time. I'm stalling, but here we are, the Lodge House. So this is the Lodge for our currently unnamed estate, although I am really, really thinking of calling it Wolhampton Estate just as a nod to my other town, but we'll see what you guys think in the comments for that. Look at it. This is, this is, this is, I'm so happy with it. Like, oh, can we get up here? No, we can't. I'm loving it. Now, what I've done around here as well, before we look at the building, is I've started to shape the main driveway up into the house. So we've got the gates there. So you come in from this way, I think. Ah, there is still here. Hello. So we've got our first visitor here. Um, ooh, it's quite a selection of stuff you've got there. Don't mind if I merge your llamas first. <laughs> I don't know why I don't like these guys either, but you're probably going to shout at me in the comments below about that, but still... Oh, oh, we got a saddle? No, a piece of leather. And I'm going to get you as well. But still, let's go have a look at the house before I start murdering everyone in the local neighbourhood. This is the lodge. So, you come up the main drive, and as Matey did there, you wait by the gate, and then someone comes and lets you in. You trundle on through the gate, and onwards down to the main house, which will sit all the way down there somewhere behind that sort of loading section. Now, once you're down there, you'll be obviously in the main grounds. So what I wanted to do here was make sure it felt quite enclosed so you wouldn't wander off into other parts of the estate because all of this is owned by the uh, the main house. So you carry on down here and then you'll end up in yeah the main house down there and also just lots of open parkland and it will look quite nice and fancy. I'm getting quite happy to show you guys this. Now, without stalling too much more, let's go take a look at the house 
and I'll show you guys what I've done inside. So it is to resemble some sort of Greek temple. I know it's a very odd thing to do, but once we've built the main house, you'll see why. And if I jump on top of these to get a better view, it has got quite a nice look to it. It's got um, a nice pediment above it there, and then we've got these little uh, capitals on top of the columns there, and all as such. But now let's go inside, and I'll show you what I've done. Uh, before we go in, before we go in, I'm not a main person to do interiors. That's not me. So we will see and judge accordingly. But let's walk on in. So this is the main sitting room. So I've gone for quite a heavy use of diorite on the ceiling uh, to zoom in there to that static. But I thought that looked quite nice as a way of breaking that up a little bit. But what we've got in here is it's closely stores behind me. I've gone for a mixture of sort of wallpaper here and the exposed brick. Yes, we're using Birch's brick here, but also the wallpaper is made from stripped oak logs and stripped jungle planks. And I think it looks really good. I think that works really well. I've got a little fireplace here that actually connects up to the chimney above, which I was quite happy about. And just some storage and the main sort of uh, workbench here. So when you walk in the door, you can jump on here quickly. Now, obviously this is my starter house and I may even do a tutorial on it. If you guys like it enough, I can always show you guys what to build because it wasn't too hard. This this actually really shocked me at how easy this was. Uh, but yeah, going on down there, we've got the main sort of work area. Kitchen, we'll get down to that in a second. I've got a little area here for a chest to sit there, maybe even one above there as well. So we carry on the same motif as we walk down the hallway. We've got these really nice stripy bits down here. I think that looks really nice. And then we go into the main bedroom. Yeah, it's not much at the second. I haven't moved all my stuff in from outside yet. It is currently just a single lonely white bed here. But the room looks quite nice. It's a good size. I've doubled up the walls in here. So we've got a full length sort of a full wall of wallpaper all the way around. I think that looks quite nice. And then the same fireplace connected in this side as well. You get some good views out the window. So we'll see whoever's going along the path back into the village or whatnot. Yes, we're going to build a village at some point as well. So coming out around to the back, this is the main area. I don't know why I keep looking up at the roof. And I've sort of put in a rudimentary kitchen area here. So we've got the anvil there to repair stuff. Got some barrels in here as well, just as a nice little bit of storage to break it up a little bit. And then you've got all of this area around here and then into the storage area. So I've built quite a few chests. Now it gets a bit cramped out here because it kind of is just the utility room, but I like how it works. Uh, it looks like it's been built off the back of the building as well. And you can really, really store a lot of stuff. So what I'm going to do over the next before the next episodes move across all my stuff into here so at least we'll be using everything out of this room now rather than outside and if we come on out here we come on to the patio that i haven't finished yet so what we'll do is put a couple of walls in here here and probably here and then between all of this some iron fences or some iron gates or whatnot and then we can walk on down into what would be a private sort of garden so i'm going to carry on the hedge round here as well and possibly, now I'm not entirely sure which side I want to do it, but I may build like a little walled garden here, which I think will look really, really nice. So guys, I'm going to take a quick look at this in shaders with you, and then we're going to call it a day for this episode. It's been quite a mega episode again. Let's go see what this place looks like in some shaders. Right, okay then. Let's not turn around just yet. Let's not turn around. Now we can turn around. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Doesn't it just look good? Doesn't it just work? So where the, where the shaders come into play is they blend all of these yellows together. And the hedges look better as well because they've got a bit more depth to them. But I think it still looks as good without shaders on. It's just these light shafts really do help it. But look at that. Ah, oh, I'm in my element here. I'm in my element of just looking at Greek neoclassical architecture as built in a random landscape for a rich man who doesn't really know what the Greek stuff is all about. But there it is. That's what we've got so far. So this area over here, I'm thinking of keeping the wagon and just sort of filling in that area with a nice little garden. Could put some crops in there or whatnot. But like I said, I was I was going to put a walled garden down there at the back, which I think is what we're going to do for next episode. So guys, this has been my second episode on the AlphaCraft server, and I'm really, really enjoying my time here so far. We've managed to do so much in this one, and I've got to meet most of the guys as well for that lovely little shindig over in Deadwood. So join me next time where I build a nice little walled garden. We talk a bit more about my Alpha by Water, which is going to be similar to this. I think. I'm not entirely sure yet. I have got a plan. So we'll have a little discussion about that and then we'll also see what other shenanigans are going on on the world. So anyway guys, thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.